Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Miss V. Today I am participating in a tag. It's called the Dollar Tree Attic Tag. It was it was created by the lovely Miss Shaquille A. And she asked you 10 questions. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. The first question is how often do you go to the Dollar Tree? Um about three times a week. That's on a good week. Well, that's on a slow week, but the minimum is three times a week. Number two, what is your number one favorite item to purchase from the Dollar Tree? Well, the number one favorite item to me are the t-shirts that are 100% cotton. So that's a great buy for $1. Number three, what day does your local Dollar Tree get an inventory on Wednesdays? They do it on Wednesdays. Number four, do you shop at Dollar Tree more than Walmart and Target. Yes, I do. And it's sad that I do buy some things from the Dollar Tree because a lot of the things I know for a fact are like 88 cents and 98 cents at Walmart, but I just love Dollar Tree. And the fun thing about it is my Dollar Tree is right next to the shopping center where Walmart is. I just don't care to go in Walmart because it's too big. I mean, Dollar Tree, I know exactly which aisle your thing's on. And I just like it for the convenience. Number five, what's the longest you've gone without shopping at Dollar Tree? I think I went a week one time. Only because I was sick or maybe um, working a lot of overtime. But it wasn't on purpose, I promise you. Number... What number did I just do? What's the longest you've gone without shopping at Dollar Tree? That's the one I just did. Hold on. I gotta figure out number six. I wrote the question down wrong. Okay, I'm back. Number six. Do you shop at more than one Dollar Tree? Yes, it's actually three of them that I shop at. Number seven. Do you wear makeup from the Dollar Tree? Yes, I do. The very first um, makeup I started wearing, y'all remember, if y'all Dollar Tree addicts, y'all remember these Milani, um, Eyeshadow, eyeshadows, I still have them. The very first makeup I started wearing from Milani. It was not pigmented unless you um, wet your brush. So I still have these, but I don't use them. But I am going to keep them because I saw a, a young lady on YouTube. She used makeup to do a canvas. So I thought that was neat. So for anyone who's into arts and crafts, keep your makeup. You can use that on your arts and crafts. I thought that was a neat idea that in the... And the portrait she did it turned out pretty using makeup. So I'm going to keep these for my arts and crafts. And the other makeup I use, I use that NYX um, eyeliner, gel eyeliner in the color brown, black. I usually get that whenever I see it. It's not often that you see it there, but you have to get it when you see it. And... Number eight, do you have a favorite food item? My favorite food item to get was that Arizona tea. But ever since I got that, um, I tried those Sour Patch Kids popsicles. That's my favorite now. That's, those are some good popsicles for five, you know, five little small popsicles for a dollar. That's good. And number nine, do you know the Dollar Tree employees by name? Yes, at one store I do. I do. And the young lady, she don't know me by name, but she know I'm a regular customer. So I went in one day and I didn't have much. She was like, what's going on? Why is your buggy not full? I said, because I stopped at my other um, Dollar Tree before I got here. She, she was like, oh, because I know you usually have a buggy full of items. Yes. And number 10, if you had $10 to spend at the Dollar Tree, what would you buy? I'm going to get 10 items, two of each. I'm going to get two of the Reynolds wrap, the wrappers. I'm going to get two of the NYS gel eyeliners. Remember, I told you they're hard to come by. I'm going to get two of my Huggies wipes. That's my staple item I buy. Um, now, I'm going to get two of the Sour Patch Kids popsicles. And I'm still going to get two of the Arizona tea. And so, those are my five items that I would get 
if I only had $10. So thank you, Miss Shakia A, for coming up with this wonderful tag. Y'all know I love to do tags, challenges, um, collab, everything. That's, that's a good way to get to know people. And it's just a fun video to watch when you see different, it, different people participating in the same topic. So that's fun to me. So the three people I'm going to tag is Thrifty Tiffany. Now you're talking about the Dollar Tree Queen. Visit her channel. She did a DIY with the cute little mason jar. But she used the mason jar little um ceramic. I guess it's a spoon rest thing. But she used it for a gift for her brother's wedding. And she took the ceramic mason jar and wrapped some twine around and tied a bow on it and sat it and, and put it on one of those little small easels that Dollar Tree um the Dollar Tree um sale. It was so cute. I'll try to insert a picture if I can. And she used the vinyl um letters that Dollar Tree is selling and she just put their initials. So that's a cute little um wedding gift. I thought that looked it looked like it came from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Good job on the um, DIY, Tiffany. I've told you already in the comments. And the second person I'm going to tag is Karen Deneen. I think I pronounced your name right. And if I didn't, forgive me. Number three, um, I'm going to tag G Ma D Ray. I mean D. She changed her name. G Ma D Housewife. I know you're taking a break too. You said redo some things on your channel, but when you get a chance, I appreciate it if you would do this tag. I would love to hear your answers. And that's going to conclude this video. Um, thank you to all my new subscriber, new YouTube friends and my older YouTube friends. I'm enjoying the community here. It's such a positive um, community. You know, of course, you have that one or two people that, you know, won't do right. But we're just going to pray for them. But anyway, I appreciate all you. Okay, and the last food item I got, I got some of these noodles. The Moroccan Instant Lunch Chicken Flavor Noodle. Three in a pack. And I got two of these Comet Toilet Bowl Cleaners. I think that's a good deal for a dollar. Two, 24 fluid ounce. This will be my first time using them, so I'll let you know how I like them. I got two of those. Got me a little personal fan. You know, I be having them personal summers. I can kind of take this with me where I go. And I'm going to try this awesome laundry booster stain lifter. I got the other one. The um, one with the orange label. I can't remember the name of it, but it's good. I'm going to do a review on it later. And I found this barbecue grill cleaner, heavy duty cleaner. Cuts through the toughest burned on grease and food particles. So y'all know it's time to crank them grills up. So I'm going to clean mine real good with this. And I found one of the cell phone holders. The photo stand um, cell phone holder. I got one. I saw um, Creative Culinary. She was the first one I saw um, haul this. This will be great. Around the house when you're doing different things. To um, store your phone on. Okay. I found this stencil wheel. This one has the balloons and happy birthday on it. I haven't seen this one before. Happy birthday. And then it has balloons. It's cute. What else? Got some candles. And some hats. So that's cute. Especially for me. And it has a present. Because you know I do that. I make the photo props for people to take portraits. So they'll be good for me to use on one of the photo props. Got that. And I got some craft sticks. And I bought some popsicle sticks. Be using those. 
And I got these loop bands. I got the medium and the heavy for when I'm doing my exercises, my squats. Give me a little resistance. I'll do a review on these later. And I got an apple core. Core. But my grandbaby, she don't like the hooves on her apple. And I found this eyebrow lifter and filler by e.l.f. In the color of ivory and medium. And I found one of these metal lip glosses. It's pretty. This is in the color, it said Desire by LA Colors. And I got me some more solar lights. I got a cute one this time. This one has a hummingbird on it. Solar light. Isn't that cute? I got two of those. The um, solar lights that I've been buying from the Dollar Tree, they're doing pretty good. Solar lights. I insert a video of the solar light ID um solar light um what's it called the lantern I did for my outdoor area that has the butterflies on it I insert a video of it at night how it lights up and I got me a canvas for my feature wall back here Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. It's going to go right there next to Miss V. And I found me another tarp. You know, these are good for when you're painting outside if you don't have plastic or anything. And I found some cute little doormats. They are only 12 inches by 24. They're not your typical size. They're a little shorter than normal, but I thought they were cute for a dollar. And they're very durable, they're very thick. The back of them is thick. So I thought this one was cute even though it's a little short, but it, it's okay. The design of it is cute. So it's 12 inches by 24. I just measured it. Got that style. Then I have this one. It says welcome. These will really be cute um, for somebody who has an apartment. The little short rugs. And this is the last one that says home. So thank you everyone for tuning in. This is going to conclude my video. Stay tuned for, <laughs> for some bloopers at the end. And y'all know what I always say. I've already said it on this video, but I'm going to say it again. This is Miss V. I'm going to help you save on things you need to get some of the things you want. Thank you and have a nice day. And I got some of these noodles. Woo! Well. This polo phone. This is Miss V. I had to enter into the Dollar Tree Attic program. And I am here to show you how my meeting went. Hello, my name is Miss V. And I am a Dollar Tree Addict. Welcome, Welcome Miss v. v. We're glad to have you here. <laughs> Say what's on your mind. Do not hold it back. Okay, thank you. We love you. you. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.